Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Zcash and the major vulnerability that they patched, um, I guess, uh, a little bit while back with the with uh, the hard forks and things like that. Anyway, um, it, it, this is based on their uh, blog post that revealed that like for about 11 months, there was a pretty significant um, bug, not in the code per se, but in the actual math that was used to create ZK snarks, which is the basis of Zcash. Anyway, here's the actual blog post, Zcash um, counterfeiting vulnerability successfully remediated. Not sure if it was necessarily successful because there's no way to know whether or not somebody actually exploited this. Um, but here's the idea. It's, uh, there, there was a mistake in the math uh, that made it possible for you to uh, create a false proof. Um, and ZK Snarks is all based on uh, the idea that you have zero knowledge proofs and you can prove certain things. And once you create a proof, uh, that's sort of um, taken by the rest of the network as truth. Um, if you can produce a false proof that's kind of bad because you're saying like true equals false or zero equals one or whatever. And essentially, uh, this is a worst case scenario bug because you can create Zcash out of thin air. And that is apparently what was possible. They don't know it for sure if anyone actually exploited the counterfeiting bug or not because the math was a little bit esoteric and stuff like that. And uh, of course, uh, Zcash uses a lot of uh, bleeding edge crypto uh, that hasn't necessarily been formally verified. Um, it's, it's, it's more um, sort of using cryptographic assumptions that uh, we don't know if are legitimate or not. And Zuko's always said this, that, you know, like this is bleeding edge technology. Um, you know, we, that, that's uh, the kind of coin we are. Um, it isn't necessarily going to be all roses all the time. Anyway, uh, yeah, there, there's a, there's a, you know, the timeline of events you can see starts on March 1st. Um, and, uh, and basically they, they wanted to secure all of the, uh, funds and make sure that they, they can do all of, uh, you know, fix all of this. Um, uh, yeah, I basically, um. Uh, they they uh, they told Horizon and Komodo um, and uh, and basically they they re, you know they they did some responsible uh, disclosure and then they mitigated it. Uh, um, but I mean, basically, it it was uh, it, you know this is the problem with a lot of these privacy coins or zero knowledge proofs and so on, is that you're not so sure that you you not only have to trust. The central development team. You also have to trust the math behind it, um, and that's not uh, necessarily a great assumption because, again, there could have been a lot of uh, Zcash created. Uh, now, it's it's be, because Zcash uh, has sort of like in the clear transactions and sort of shielded transactions. Uh, they know you know how much is in the clear and how much is supposed to be in the shielded transactions. And until everybody from the shielded gets out into the clear, we won't know if there's been any inflation or not. So uh, we're in this kind of weird, precarious position. Um, and, you know, who knows, maybe, maybe if you have, you know, if you were using the shielded transactions, you would do something else. I, I don't know. It, it, it gets to be a little bit weird. Um, but anyway, that's what the whole vulnerability was about. That's, uh, you know, it, it, it's, uh, you know, the, these are kind of what you have to deal with when you have, um, uh, you know, zero knowledge, shielded transactions, you know, the amounts sort of like being uh, hidden and things like that. Um, you know, you can have perfect privacy or you can have perfect, uh, or you can, or you can have a, monet, uh, a known monetary limit uh, you can't really have both. Um, and, and that's kind of, uh, the situation that Zcash, Monero, a lot of these, uh, privacy coins are in is that, you know, they, they are in that zone of, um, you know, wanting perfect privacy, but you, you, you don't know for certain that there's no inflation.
And that that's that's kind of I, I mean Monero had a bug similar to this, except they patched it and they were able to detect if anybody um, was able to you know uh, abuse it and so on. So yeah, I um, you know the, this uh, an object lesson and you know 